Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm usually pretty willing to eat a salad, not always willing to make it, which is why I'm so excited to share a weekly staple in my house that really helps me keep my clean eating on track. For this quick bite, I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious spinach salad jars. Now, you could really make these 101 different ways. Any salad combo you can dream up would work. So I decided to just pick one of my favorites and go. The first thing you need to do is have yourself some mason jars. Now, I've got one pint mason jars here, but truly, for the salad jars, the bigger the better. So if you've got the bigger ones or you can find them, go for it. I usually buy a pack of 12 of these for about 10 bucks on either Amazon or at Target, and I use them for tons of different things, so I really recommend them. Now, once you're ready to start building your jars, the first thing you want to do is just prep all the ingredients ahead of time, and then it's really just a layering game. And the secret is to start with the heavier ingredients on the bottom and then work your way up. So here's how we're going to assemble the spinach salad jar. Start with a half a cup of garbanzo beans on the bottom of your jar, sometimes called chickpeas. These add a nice punch of protein. Then I've got a quarter cup of chopped tomatoes, two tablespoons of red onion, and two tablespoons would be just half of your quarter cup measurement. Gives it a nice little kick. Then you're gonna take a nice big handful of spinach and layer it into the jar. With the one pint jars, you're gonna get about an ounce of spinach in there. Then on top of the spinach, a couple of sliced up white mushrooms, classic in a spinach salad. And then top it off with a little more protein, one hard boiled egg. And again, guys, if you want the formula for a perfectly cooked hard boiled egg, check out that video right over there. Then you're just gonna repeat this with as many jars as you're gonna make. I usually make somewhere between four and six jars. Once you've got them all assembled, you're just gonna pop on the lid and then you can store them in the fridge for up to five days. Now, I know a lot of people like to put the salad dressing on the bottom of the salad jar, but I'm not really such a fan of that. So what I like to do is if I need a quick dressing, I take an old spice jar like I have here, and I put one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and then just a little kiss of salt and a little kiss of pepper. Then you've got yourself an on-the-go dressing for your on-the-go salad. Once you're ready to eat your salad, all you're gonna do, drizzle the dressing right over the top, then pop the lid back on, and you are gonna shake what your mama gave you. Then you take the lid off and enjoy. Now, if you're using a one pint jar like I've got here, the first couple bites might be a little bit compact, but once you get going, it all loosens up. Mmm, you got that creamy egg with the hearty spinach and the bite of the red onion. This, my friends, is clean and delicious fast food on the go. If you guys wanna print this or any of my recipes, make sure you swing by cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness.